All good there. Okay, so Frankie, five under for today. How are you feeling just starting off, you know, the week fresh after a week off break? Just where are you at right now? Yeah, no, it feels good to start to start kind of strong. Um, really just try to stay patient all day. Um, there's some gettable holes on the on the front nine with a couple drivable par fours and then some uh, reachable par fives. Um, and then starting on the back, just really try to stay patient. Um, started with the birdie, which felt nice and kind of got the round rolling. But um, I want to work on a couple things. Um, didn't roll it exactly how I wanted to, but overall can't complain too much with, with five on your start. And this second seven-week stretch is really important. This is where the 30 really starts to solidify itself before heading into finals. The bubble, we're watching the bubble now. I mean, how are you feeling about where you're at? And just, you know, I think you're 30th, right, on the points list. So just how does that feel knowing, okay, I'm in the top 30, and how do you? How are you thinking about improving your position? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. I mean, knowing I, I came in right at 30. Um, but I try not to think about it too much. I think good golf gets rewarded throughout the season. Um, so really just not thinking about it too much and just kind of sticking to my process and um, attacking each day um, just kind of the same way, just getting after it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, good golf's going to get rewarded, and especially towards you get to, as you get closer to the end of the year, um, those points, just kind of stack them up as, as much as you can. But just keep playing the way I've been playing, and everything will take care of itself. So. And this is your rookie season on the Corn Ferry Tour. If you were to look at yourself at the start of the season, would you have thought that you would have been in the top 30 in just your first year out here? I would have thought I would have been inside the top 30, yeah. Um, I'm a fairly confident person. And, uh, have have a lot of confidence in my ability and what I can do with the golf ball, but even even then, I, I am pleased with where I'm at. But our goal is to, to keep climbing, get as high as we can. Um, so really, just kind of keep doing what we're doing and do our best. You know, and I think that confidence. You'll talk to guys a lot where they say, you know, it's it's not about making the cut this week; it's about winning. Do you think that confidence and that tenacity about the 30? Do you attribute some of that to maybe getting into that position and getting yourself there? A little bit, yeah. I mean. The points are so stacked kind of at the top, like the top five, I guess top five to seven guys at the end of each week. You get so many more points than you are coming in, you know, 12th, 15th, 18th, and that can be the difference of one to two shots sometimes. So really just focusing on the top of the leaderboard and getting there as, as fast as possible and really just trying to stay there all week, I think it's pretty important. Um, but yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just golf. I'm just doing my best and having fun. Um, and yeah, put myself in a good spot this week and looking forward to tomorrow. And is there anything with your game, you know, knowing where you're at, that you're going to shift or any adjustments you're going to make for these next few weeks coming up? Um, no big adjustments in my game. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I've learned so much throughout this season on just kind of what helps me um, and also what I kind of need to avoid each week. Like, it's such a long season that I've tried to um, just kind of conserve my energy throughout the week. Sometimes I won't even get to tournaments until Monday evening, um, Tuesday morning sometimes. Um, so really just trying to conserve energy. Like you said, we have another seven-week stretch. Um, so really just staying hydrated and, and fueled up every week I think is pretty important. Um, but really just proud of kind of how I've progressed throughout the season and um, looking forward to tomorrow. And you mentioned learnings and one of your biggest ones being energy conservation. But usually you, re you realize learnings when you kind of hit a wall or yeah. something happens. So was there, has there been a moment in the season when you're like, man, I got to like – there. figure out how to do this, you yeah, know? Yeah, there definitely has been, and I would say I actually learned a lot from the U.S. Open, um, even though it wasn't a corn period event. We had a few before then, and then the U.S. Open, and then a couple after, um, and Norman was pretty hot a few weeks ago, um, and really just, just learned to, I mean, we've, we've all played this game for so long, our, our game shouldn't change all that much from day to day, um, so really just kind of understanding where your game's at, and I think you can do that pretty well when you play back-to-back -back weeks. Um, so it's just important to, to kind of keep that energy up and, and yeah, just trust it. Awesome. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.